All right, if you've been down on Lower Broadway after the sun sets recently, you know it's not easy to get around. Nashville's popularity has people overflowing on the sidewalks, and that's a safety issue. New at 6, our Chris Cannon is live downtown, and Chris, dramatic changes are coming, right? Corey, from 1st to 5th Avenue, most of the sidewalks are about 10 feet wide, and these days it's so busy, that's just not big enough. 27 people have been hit by cars on this stretch of Broadway over the last five years. That's why there's a new plan that's about to start that'll make more room for everyone to get around. Well, the honky tonks on Lower Broadway are uniquely Nashville. All I gotta do is act that There's nowhere like this anywhere else in the world where, you know, there's just bar after bar after bar of free entertainment with world class musicians. More and more people are coming to hear country music, and that's causing some growing pains down here. On your Fridays and Saturday nights, uh, there's just not enough space on the sidewalks. Well, this is a Tuesday afternoon, and we've got a lot of pedestrians down here. Chip Knopf is with Metro Public Works. He says there's a plan to make these sidewalks safer and easier to navigate. Where we extend the sidewalk, theoretically, with the use of some fencing. To make that happen, Lower Broadway will lose the parking lane. From 5th to 1st, we'll have an additional 8 feet of walkable area. That'll leave two lanes of traffic in each direction with a dedicated loading zone. That's a change musicians are looking forward to. Dedicated loading zone is going to be great. And uh, hopefully it'll stay clear of, of people that don't need it. But making these sidewalks safer is the main goal of the plan. That overflow, that spillover on that Saturday night that you experience or I experience is now going to be in a protected walking area. And that's what we want. We want protection for these pedestrians. So when you come to hear music on Lower Broadway, Nashville's growing pains won't hit a sour note. And when that fencing is put up along this lane right here, it will stay up 24-7. It'll be there for at least 60 to 90 days. Now, this could go up as soon as July 8th in the second week of July. So it's a change that's coming downtown pretty soon. Now, there will be fencing that will have holes in it so people can make deliveries and get deliveries into the buildings and you can catch a taxi still. So it won't be a continuous fencing line there. Now, you will see these barricades up for the temporary ones. Now, if this does become a permanent fixture downtown, they'll put a more decorative type of barricade up to make it look a little nicer. We are live downtown. Chris Cannon, News Channel 5 HD.